recording for Katie Chats here at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto with filmmaker and Oscar winner Frida Mock. How does it feel to have your film Anita here at Hot Docs? I think I love being here at Hot Docs with this film. I actually was here last year with a film called G Dog, and I just it was my first visit to Toronto and the and the uh, Toronto audiences, and, and they're just terrific. Um, audience members and people and it's just been great to be here and have people who appreciate and love documentary films uh, be a part of the debut of, of Anita so I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. What inspired you to make this film on Anita Hill? Well I had felt as many watching the hearings 20, about 20 years ago 20 something plus that it was a little confusing about what really was going on. You know, there was some backstory I don't think any of us knew, understood, because it was such an electrical, electrifying testimony, and we'd never heard such graphic language about lewd behavior toward uh, a professional woman, in this case, trying to do her job. You know, and I just felt that a lot of us, because it was so shocking that a lot of the po it was so sensationalized. That, I think we got sort of lost. Who is she? What happened to her? You know, she had profound impact, I think, on, on viewers. It was a really visceral reaction. But I guess the question was, where, what happened to her after that? And what happened to the issue of ha sexual harassment? Have we changed, you know? And so I thought, with the 20th anniversary coming up, 1991 to 2001 was the idea that when I approached her with the idea of the film, we thought, okay, the 20th anniversary is happening. It's, it looks like a good way to kind of frame the, the story. So I was looking at then and now, both in terms of what happened to Anita and what happened to the issue of sexual harassment in the workplace. And is it better now for women and men? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And has it changed since this happened 20 years ago? I think there's been great progress in public policy. I think corporations, you know, particularly are mandated to have uh, sexual harassment training. Managers and employers, employees, you know, uh, understand you know, there are appropriate and inappropriate behavior. Um, and I, I think there's been progress here. They say there's certainly been progress in the number of uh, um, law, complaints of sexual harassment. You know, there's a, at least in the United States, I presume in Canada, there are agencies that are set up to deal with you know, discrimination on, 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 on this. Um, and I think up until 1991, even though there may have been laws in the books, people didn't quite understand what do you do and how do you exercise your rights, you know. So I think the, the good news is that people understood that you know, this is un, you know, unacceptable behavior and you do have rights to complain about that. So that is a big progress. So I think there's a lo long ways to go still, you know. You, you hear about certainly, I guess, assaults in the military is a big issue in, in, in the States, you know, and just amazing, you know, what goes on in sexual assaults, and it's hard to, it's, it, it's put, you know, you can, you can still put a spotlight on the issue. There's, there's always more work to be done, but at least there's a, there's a trajectory mm -hmm. of change, yeah. yeah. When you met Anita Hill and got to work with her, was she who you expected her to be? Um, uh, yes, I think I met her maybe right after the hearings, you know, I think she did a little tour and I think she was stunned, you know, by the public reaction to what she had done. And uh, um, I just found her, she's, yeah, a nice person, you know, very, not, you know, just cool and uh, very approachable and at the same time um, thought and, 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 and thoughtful, but also real, yeah. So, um, I, I, I sort of expected that she'd just be a great person to be around, yeah. As I think you can tell in the film, yeah. 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 And in the film, we see her speaking at events and inspiring other young women and all, all kinds of people, older women, everyone. Uh, when you were there filming that, how was it affecting you personally, and how inspired were you? Um, let me think. So, to professionally, you know how when you're you, you you try to be professional and not get you know. Um, and I was just watching people reacting to her. They, of course, she's a she's celebrated, especially among women and among men who really honor what she did. As you can tell in the film, you know there are wonderful men who came to her who spoke on her behalf, you know, who, who really risked their own lives, their careers, they volu those, those 
men who volunteered to speak on her character. You know, they didn't have to. They just uh, that it, for them was the right thing to do. So that was kind of wonderful to see. You know, um, but. Um, I, I, found, I found it was an amazing, well, one, she's so beloved, you know, and, in terms of, I think, personal lives of women who've been working, that, that, that she's, you know, they always give her a standing ovation. Everywhere I've gone, they give her a standing ovation, rightfully so, you know, <laughs> and you'll probably see it tonight, too, you know. But I, I was really, hadn't thought about the impact beyond sexual harassment in the workplace. And, you know, when they had that 20th anniversary celebration or look a day at, at Hunter's College in New York, was really impressed to see your generation, the next generation, a really cool activist young women, you know, mid-20s, taking that issue of harassment beyond the workplace. I hadn't even thought about that. And they are doing such great work, such as sexual harassment training and awareness in, in schools, in public schools, because they feel this is where you have to start, is to teach and educate young people, uh, boys and girls, what is appropriate, what is inappropriate, and what you can do about, you know, speaking up as a, um, a young woman. And that also there's a whole issue of, you know, looking at harassment on the streets. I mean, I just got off the Toronto, you know, airport. The PA picked me up. All of a sudden we started talking, and she was talking about this, you know, uh, you know un silly behavior by this man on the street. It just tumbles out when you start talking to uh, young women or anyone about their, their experience. I, I hadn't thought about that, really, in terms of harassment you know, beyond the workplace. So that's been really encouraging, inspiring about what the next generation's doing. Yeah. And you've been nominated for an Oscar five times. You've won an Oscar. What was that whole experience like? Well, it is nothing it's great you know as you can see you know, wow yeah and that's like you know it's like, like wow that's not that was great you know and what's really sweet about you realize what a popular event the Oscars are you know in our in our culture that when you get nominated all of a sudden you hear from kids you haven't heard from since elementary school or old boyfriends or you know it's just sort of sweet and that people really want to be a part you know are just happy for this kind of positive experience so that's that's great yeah you get to dress up and all that and be Cinderella for a night you know kind of thing so that's fun yeah and what types of projects are you developing for the future well right now uh, I just I finished these two films in this one year so I actually I haven't thought further than trying to get these films out the door and you know we're looking forward to having Anita particularly um, open in theaters hopefully in the fall and have you know an audience experience it because I, I think I find audiences really are pretty you know hopefully taken on a journey and, and really get some entertaining and uh, and experience it inside so and where's the best place to find out more information on Anita online online there actually we have Anita Hill Facebook if they go to the Facebook we don't have an um, you know a website yet but, but there will be but otherwise if you look under Anita the Anita Hill the documentary movie they'll eventually find it certainly my it'll, it'll connect to me as eventually you know there's there's a publicist you'll find online and uh, otherwise American Film Foundation is our company and they can find information on that okay Thank you so much. Congratulations, and best of luck with the film. Well, thanks. Thank you for having us on your show. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for Katie Chats here at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto. Hi.